This is a video um, demonstrating how to use a Maztec XY502E uh, switching fully adjustable current and voltage power supply to charge an A123 pack. And I have a 12 cell pack right here that's waiting to be charged. Um, I've revised my charging procedure from the last time that I made a video. Mainly it's the addition of the diode. and That's that blue thing there. It was originally a battery isolator that I had in a dual battery set up in my truck. I wasn't using it for that anymore so I put it to good use here. And the reason that I added this was to protect the power supply against any possible um, reverse current or probably even reverse polarity uh, scenarios such as either connecting the battery pack up backwards or having the battery pack connected and then your mains power fails and that could possibly lead to a reverse current. At least this is according to Asifica, whom I spoke with when my first mass tech died. So let's get started. I have the positive lead from the mass tech going to the alternator lead of the battery isolator diode. And the other two terminals mark number one and number two. On either side there are for the um, for the batteries and each one is its own diode. So I have um, another positive lead coming off of the one of the battery legs of the diode and it goes back and joins up with the positive lead going into the watt meter and and then ground goes straight to ground right there. So let's turn it on and start charging. And notice that I am turning it on first and that I have the voltage set in the Maztec first before I connect anything up to it. I've decided that I like charging my packs at 3.7 volts per cell. So I set the Maztec for about 45 volts. There's about a 0.7 volt drop in through the diode and you can see that the watt meter reads 44.3 or about. And that's about 3.7 volts per cell. And when it gets through charging, then the watt meter will show 44.3 volts. So let's connect up the pack and start charging. Got it connected. Charging at 6.1 amps right now. What's showing on the mastic is the actual voltage of the pack after it's going through the uh, diode. And that's what the watt meter is doing. We can even up the, up the amps a little bit if we want to. Let's go up to 10. There we go. Now we're charging this 12 cell pack at 10 amps. And that's what the watt meter is doing. Charging the pack, it's going through the diode first, then through the watt meter connected to the pack so I can see exactly what the voltage is going to the pack. I want to stop it right now and I'll come back later um, just before it gets into constant voltage mode. 